Hey folks, Quillikin here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Rim Dwarf World Fortress! Where we have, apparently, a polar bear trapped over here. God damn, this guy has great hair. Look at this guy! Eh? Oh, ah. Uh, I'll ensure safety of my visitors. That's right. We have visitors, but no more visitor beds. You know, we might actually make the prisoner rooms a little bit more of a priority here. I actually do need some building stuff, which means we need blocks, which means... Wow, we need everything, of course. How are we getting food poisoning from goddamn porridge? I don't understand this. We got Time Havoc here, who... I don't know, this whole alcohol withdrawal thing is probably silly. But, you know... It feels wrong for our dwarves. Let, let, let's, let's be clear. It does feel extremely wrong to inflict this upon our dwarves. But it's kind of funny, so I also want to do it. So it's like my policy is like punish people who are missing a leg. You know what? Because it's going to be hard to walk around on a peg leg. That's the problem. So you maybe you need to not drink as much. I don't know. Something like that. Yaks going around charming people. Now, can we recruit these people? Of course we can. Of course we could. Nudist pyromaniac. See, that just seems like doubly dangerous. If you're setting things on fire, you should probably have some sort of coverage. Psychically dull masochist. Hard work or abrasive. Okay, let's just take a look at the health situations. They're all reasonable. Um, still would be nice to have someone who's good at shooting, but... Could have someone who's good at animals for a change over there. Crafter and who's a hard worker. He's young. He only has the one skill pool, but I guess it's not the end of the world. Honestly, we could use someone who's got some passion for crafting. Crafting. Nudist Pyromaniac. Good shot. There we go, we'll try to recruit you as well. And I'm not going to recruit Raccoon, not because he's bad, and he does have that mining thing, but I don't want to... And you know what? Psychically dull and masochistic, they're really good traits. Screw it. We'll try to... We'll see what we can do. Whoever we get, we get. We'll need some more rooms, of course, but that's okay. Yeah, we can turn on the mining priority a little higher at some point, but I don't know. I'm happy this is finally getting done. Can't complain about that. Still have to mine out this little bit at some point, because it's sort of driving me nuts. Oh, I do love the music. I got my my own volume set a little higher. And Actually, why is the music so loud? Hold on, I just realized. I don't have my volume set a little higher. Just the music was being super much louder than usual. I love it, but it might be a little strong. That's strange. Why is it so loud? Oh, I know. It was probably like that last episode and I didn't even notice. I'm just going to drop this down a scooch. All right. It might have been fine. It's really hard to tell while I'm recording. I'll have to check in post. Maybe we'll tweak it back and forth. But yeah, that's sort of like, you know, um, Firefly-inspired music. I mean, I don't know if it's Firefly-inspired is the right way to say, but it gives me a Firefly vibe. So you guys are all traders that were over here. Have we traded with you? So, Yaks, I know you're currently asleep and I apologize, but go over here. I don't remember when... Oh, Pirate Merchant. No, no, I guess they just arrived and I hadn't noticed them because we were stuck off in a corner. What are we going to do with you, Timberwolves? Wow. Well, we don't have any money. We could just sell Polar Bear. Too smart, ugly. Congratulations, you've just been sold to some slavers. We're going to sell those smoke leap joints. Um, We could make a bunch of money by selling these high explosive shells. Hey, what? I'm going to sell, like, 15 of them off. Is that... Oh, I don't have num lock on. Or you can't enter that way? Hello. Can I not... Oh, I would have had to put a minus. That's what's going on. Okay. I'm going to sell... So we'll keep some to deal with some seizures. Ten sh shots is a fair bit. We could sell some of our booze. We do have a fair amount of it, actually. You know what? Let's do that. Oh, they don't have this much silver. Unless there's something we want to buy. Eh, it's overpriced medicine. No, no, this is fine. Wait, I'm confused. I mean, the booze is worth twice as much as these high explosive shells. We make, we do make good booze. There we are. Let's do something like that. Take all their money. 
Excellent. We'll uh, ask for that to be hauled in very quickly because we want it to be in a stockpile in range of the beacon for future trading opportunities. And raccoon, the visitors you can do a little trade with, but they don't tend to carry much, so I'm not going to worry about it. Um, these rooms here, these beds here, are no longer for prisoners. They're, in fact, for guests. I don't know if it's too late to offer them the bed or not. I don't know. Recently, it just looked like he pooped. It just looked like he pooped. What did he do to drop pemmican? Where is he going to bring that? Oh, he's consuming it. Oh! Okay, he pulled that out of his pocket to eat, and then he got interrupted, so he dropped it. I see. Who's starving? Vercon. Okay, no, you're eating a meal. You're going to be fine. Let's say we've got tons of... Actually, we don't have that many completed meals. New recruit! Chief Angered. Riesling! You know, I, I, I'm usually a red wine drinker, but a, a Riesling from time to time is going to be okay. I don't have my uh, my name list open, so let's go and take a look at that in a scooch. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. Uh, subscriber list open. Excellent. Okay. So Riesling, you are going to be renamed. Where are you sleeping? Just there. You were just that exhausted. You were recruited and instantly fell asleep. Riesling is going to be Flamebeard. Flamebeard81, which of course is an excellent name for a dwarf. Even a female dwarf, that is fine. So we need more bedrooms. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do is the mining. We're going to go and bring back up. Actually, you know what? We're, we're in a hurry. We're going to bring it up to a two here. We're actually going to make sure that some mining occurs in terms of these rooms, in terms of some of these tunnels. We want to expand our storage area as well. Um, and we need some more bedrooms. Uh, which I think what we'll do. Six by six. Uh, hello. Did I not draw that in the right place? Apparently. Okay, well, I'm happy we're discovering that before we get over here. Boom. All right. And mine will keep going off to the sides like this. Two, two, two. two. Okay. Bedrooms are whoops, probably more important than the stockpile right now. But whatever happens, happens. It's going to be okay. Uh, all right. Restrictions. We'll put you on a normal schedule. Mr. Flamebeard, in terms of work, uh, okay, you don't doctor anything, that's fine, Hall Plus, Flick, I guess we could give you the, um, right, everything's the number one for the wardening, except actually chatting, because you're not actually sociable, uh, you actually are good at, at shooting, so I think what I'm going to do is do this, grow... We'll leave the mining at a two. You can help out with that. And right, you've got the crafting thing and a little bit of hauling. Um, I really should have just copied everything over from someone else here. But you know what? Close enough. So you will help out with some of those hauling duties first and then go and do some crafting. You'll mine first, although you don't have any... You really don't have any skill or passion for it. But we do kind of need it done a little bit faster, so it's going to be okay. But the chief was angered because of doing that. Oh, you are lacking a ranged weapon. You are a pretty good shot. Bore the hunting. Something that shoots fast, shorter range is fine. We could just frag grenade. Which works shockingly good. The thing is, there's not that much hunting to do. So we should mostly think about what do we want you to be equipped with for um, fighting off bad guys. And I think you're a good enough shot that the uh, sniper rifle is going to make a lot of sense. So we are spreading out our mining jobs, which is a little less than ideal. But I think we'll be okay. Are you, you're not sleeping. You're just watching the sunset. Okay. I say, hoping the guests do end up still sleeping in here. And yeah, these are going to be our prisoner rooms, individual prisoner rooms going forward. They're going to be quite large and, and fancy. But we really don't have anything else to do with this space is part of the problem. I mean, I suppose I could have made some 5x5 five five bedrooms over here. I mean, that's a possibility. But no, this is fine. It doesn't cost us very much to mine out and then... The prisoners got that much more joy. They become easier to recruit. And then we put them in a normal bedroom. And they're like, hey, wait a minute. I was better off before. Well, except for being, you know, stuck in a room all the time. So some of these guys got injured. Did they get in a social fight? I don't remember what the deal was. Anywho, we got some silver again. That's good. In fact, we might have had some silver. To no, no, because we do have the excess stockpile over here. I forget. We've got a low priority stockpile there. In fact, 
uh, I might just want to set this to normal priority again so that things don't get shuffled back and forth so much. Because, I mean, it's not really a problem to have things out here. Oh, other than the fact that I want to store dead bodies out here. You know what? Leave that. Then there'll be more room for the dead bodies. Flamebeard. Poor guy! Don't worry, buddy. We'll get you a bedroom soon. I promise. I promise. He's like, hey, you recruited me, and you never told me I'd be sleeping on the floor a lot. But although he is, you know, he's tribal, so maybe there's other good aspects here. You don't have to eat pemmican all the time. We have actual cooked meals. Hooray! I'm going to start doing sculpture again. That'd be nice. And I just realized that's time havoc. Yeah, who's not doing anything? How is he going to do art if he's no longer going to be an alcoholic? He needs some sort of, like, horrible th stuff in his life to, you know, keep him motivated to do art, right? That's the way it works. Marble blocks are continuing to be produced and then instantly used for walls, which, I mean, we do want those walls to be up at some point. Six of Deceberi. Food situation, not much in the way of cooked food. Probably, because cooking is a... We've only got one cook, really. It's work. Who's currently asleep. Maybe we should just replace his leg. Alcohol addiction tricks be damned. Probably. I think Time Havoc's too important. We'd have to wait too long for this to wear out. Alright, fine. Left foot. Install wooden foot, left foot. Done and done. We need you back, buddy. Sorry to try to, like, torture you in bed here with the alcohol withdrawal. <laughs> See? This is what I was trying to avoid! Oh my god. He's in remission. So maybe we don't have to operate on this one. Oh my god, that's so... See? This is exactly what I'm trying to avoid. Uh, um, we can just do a normal priority haul on these. Because the prisoner room's not the most critical. In fact, since hauling is still fairly high priority, I might have just not wanted to flag that at all. Because I really want this stuff to happen first. Although, these bedrooms, which are going to be your actual people bedroom, do have to be cleared out fairly quickly. Uh, so we get sandstone here. Um, so that we can, uh, you know, start decorating them. Plus, they're getting to the, some of the way of the miners and whatnot. Okay, we've got melee weapons over... Where is this one? Oh, cotton fiber, which doesn't have to be refrigerated. Yeah, we have a lot of possibility for clothe making. Making some parkas here with putt-putt. Yeah, I mean, I don't regret putting up the uh, the mining priority for a scooch, but... Um, we will be... We'll be resetting that soon. We don't need to necessarily mine out the map anymore. Although, again, how are we on our actual steel stocks? I mean, there's some, but we don't have, like, eh, no, we have a good amount. All right. It's hard to see it with all the fertilizer that's there. So, yeah, these, these prisoner rooms are not really as high priority as these, but I guess it's fine. Food, bringe, prisoner was sold. I know a prisoner was sold, but, I mean, how bad is that really? Yeah, only minus three. I guess it just shows you, like, the latest bad thing. I wonder, like, how it picks the message. I wonder if it's just the, the, the least aged bad thing. Because I guess that would be the thing that technically puts you over the edge. Sure. It's kind of legit. Tap, 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 tap. No longer... Wow, that was a short pig out. Oh, you must be going to sleep. I must have gotten tired or something. Okay. So, we got the heal root. All right, we still want to get um, Devil Strand and stuff growing, although I think we need tech for that, right? I think that's one of the things. I believe so. It's going to be a stockpile. We do need other um, other hot houses here, which really could be 9x9 nine nine rooms for these lamps to perfectly cover. Although, we might want to use this space here and here. Probably. And actually, speaking of, I may as well go ahead and put some planter boxes in both those places. They're not going to be centered, but oh well. Get that going. <sighs> Flamebeard. I'm sorry, man! So we can start bed construction over here, which I will do. Furniture... Um, half your walls are sandstone, so do we have enough sandstone blocks to do this? No. Uh, I'll just make it out of granite then, because we do have it, and I do want to get started. So, granite bed. Granite door. 
and the bed we need to make sure you know what we'll, we'll work that it's at least good quality here if we can do that okay and yet once this wall of doom finishes getting put up we'll, we'll end up with a lot of extra blocks to do things with again so we got to rebuild these doors before we get attacked again ideally so time havoc is up with his wooden foot carcinoma in remission we'll need tending in three days four hours so remission when it comes to cancer doesn't doesn't literally mean you're cured right it means there's like no growth or something doesn't it you've become the target where the hell are you where's the axe oh my god this fox is really must be desperately hungry hang on recruit everyone let's get you to stand out here for a second uh, I was going to check something else. Oh, yeah, I was going to try to figure out, like, what am I growing over here? I don't know. Baby Agarilux. Purple mushroom. Mushrooms? Dies when exposed to light? Faster growth of kind of nature, but also has a much smaller yield. It feels to me like we have to grow mushrooms in the dark somewhere. Okay, I mean, we can grow conventional mushrooms over here, which we should. Plump helmets. Where the hell is that fox? Oh, there it's coming. Um. Don't, don't grenade again. Who's got the grenades? Oh, no, it's not the grenade. It's the flamethrower. You. Do not grenade again. Do not flamethrower again. I'm going to get you equipped with a different weapon here. You go and do this. There we go. Vrakung actually got injured here. Are you still... No, hold on. I still want you to change weapons. How badly hurt were you there, buddy? You were just shot. Oh, I see. Yeah, it happens. Although you're also one of our doctors. Are you, are you getting treatment? Okay, listen. Rest until healed. Um... What am I looking for? Doctors. You. Come here. Treat. Thank you. Okay. Dig, dig, dig. Tap, tap, tap. How come... It feels like digging so slow here. I think marble... Had we not checked and it, like, had more hit points? 450. But still not that much. I don't know if there's another hardness meter or anything like that. Silver ore? Oh, man. That's brilliant. Awesome! Yeah, because we could use a little bit more cash. We have the communication set up and everything, right? Yeah, yeah. Comms console, console over here. Everything is fine. We're comes fully healed. I mean, I didn't think it'd be much of a problem, but I was a little concerned. Could have just put the melee airs out there. All these scraps, we can get that on a normal priority hull. Just because it looks terrible from the last thing, time this was smashed. It'd be nice if we get these walls up before things get smashed again. Got lots of marble chunks. Beds up, but it was poor quality. Oh, womp womp. We'll do that. We'll smooth out some walls and stuff to get some power there later on, but it's not the most important thing to do. Uh, I'm not going to start a second bed, just because the material we don't have necessarily that much. You're dissembling clothes. Salvaging fabric. Yeah, okay. And some more of it, which is fine. Do we not have stuff that needs to get made? Oh, I guess not. Oh, so you're just hitting all the, the salvage fabric jobs. Which... Do we want to change that? Putt-putt. Do we want putt-putt to... Be doing something else instead? I don't know. I guess it's okay. Poor Flamebeard. Another night on the ground. He's like, I would have taken a poor bed. We're like, no, 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 no. You better you sleep on the ground. <gasps> Where are thrombos? I'm sorry. Is that three of them? I don't think I've ever seen three. It might be a little hard for us to take. I was tempted. But three might be a little bit difficult. Hmm. Oh, you now have cirrhosis. See, Time Havoc, this is why I was trying to get you off of alcohol. Look at this. We we're so close to... like. Well, we weren't that close. We were only at like 25%. And he, I'm thinking he still would have developed both of these before breaking his addiction. On the bright side, now he's got, you know... All the problems that alcohol 
uh, can can give you, as far as I know, in the game. So he can, I guess, drink to his heart's content. Yeah, we're going to need to start producing artificial livers or harvesting livers. <laughs> Which is going to lead to some bad thoughts, but we may just have to put up with it. So we're not doing any research right now because of the salvaging. Which... We do need the research to happen. All right, putt-putt. I'm going to go and I'm going to turn this off. I mean, putting it at four is the same, but yeah, I'm going to do that. Just disable these things for now. I'm going to reset you. Uh, and actually, you will also not mine. There we go. We do need to res the research to get going. I mean, we've gotten a lot of the critical one, which is good, but yeah, we need to keep going down that that sort of tree i think speaking of tree i think you're actually researching another level of plant stuff yeah agriculture three we got some fruit trees and stuff which sounds like a lot of fun i think i like the idea of the outside area just being all kinds of fruit trees and things like that um and maybe some other crops maybe some of the big bulk crops like rice and corn and stuff but otherwise you know a lot of uh, hydroponics might be quite spiffy we got the various drug production industrial fermenting I don't know what the advantage is necessarily. Canning the resource plants could be fun, but we don't need to rush that. Flowers and trees, I don't know if there's much to win there. Okay, so we have terrain rehabilitation. Correctly layered dirt on smooth stone to make underground greenhouses. And then soil reclamation unlocks placing soil on smooth stone. So I think we have two mods well, three, in fact, because I've got the, like, tilled soil mod, and then I have two things that are providing this soil reclamation. I wonder what mod is doing this versus these others. I don't... One of the, is one of them built into the game? I didn't think so. All right. This room is ugly, so there's going to be a lot of break-risk stuff going on. We do have a bed finally made here. Excellent quality. Nice. Take a look at the art. Ah! Depiction of Lilia Hunt crouching next to a fire while their face slowly turns blue. Three frozen herring corpses surround the area. Pigeon poses in the distance, overall composition to rectangular. Representation tells the story of Hunt getting hypothermia. Wow. Okay. We're going to do that. We're going to do a high priority haul of that stuff. And, I mean, we will be setting up more beds, but we don't have the blocks right now, so. Get that out of there. Just so that we're ready to go with the the fancy rooms later on. Need to rebuild some of these walls. Yeah, this is just going to be a big storage area. Orbital beacon to here. Actually, hold on. Can we put it a little further towards the outside? No, that's that's the spot right there. Okay. And power. We want you to run all up here. I will actually just keep going because we'll want all that. We'll clearly have to rebuild this wall a little bit. Although we don't have to rush that. The stockpile doesn't actually have to be enclosed. So that all might be fine. You're hauling some chunks of stuff without going to bed? That's interesting. Uh, this here can all be normal priority hauled. No rush on that. For our prisoner rooms. We could temporarily turn something else into a prisoner room if needed. Pirate merchant. Uh, so Yaks, we're going to wake you up. Have a little chat. We don't have any more prisoners to sell. We're not going to sell components or the neutral mean. We're not going to buy components at a bad price. Okay, hold on. It's the price you pay to buy this. Do we get the same the other way? No. I got three bucks that way. Yeah, I don't... I think the price to sell might always be the same. I'm not sure. I don't remember. I think I've gotten it confused about 30 different times. Oh, we can sell all of our crappier weapons. Even, like, this bolt action, right? I mean, it's only worth a buck. Could have just smelted it down. It's probably not worth equipping our people with it. Well, a few bucks are a few bucks. Uh, I might keep the machine pistol. I realize it's poor, but it's got hit points. Same thing with this. The auto pistol is kind of crap. 
Light machine gun's okay. We'll keep the frag grenades. Uh, these handheld shields. Uh, this belt. Yeah, it's decayed enough to the point where it'd count as frayed. And at least we can sell it for a lot of money. Tempted to buy a helmet. But I guess we won't. Okay, we'll take our 34... Or 334 bucks and call that good enough. Alright, still digging here. Okay, kind of a chill episode. Feel really bad for, um... Uh, for Time Havoc. Poor guy. We tortured him by denying him booze, and it all didn't matter. He's pretty happy overall, though. Look at this. Joy-filled, comfortable, impressive bedroom. Really? Well, yeah, because we've got art in there. That will be the other nice thing, is if we can start working on our art. By having Time Havoc work on that, for example. But Time Havoc's going to be pretty busy cooking before he can sneak in some art. In fact, I suspect it'll be very hard for Time Havoc to truly find time for his art. If we could get another couple of cooks or something like that, that way we could put Time Havoc on pure art stuff, that would be okay. Textiles Trader. Let's give another chat here. Um, we could sell some clothing. We might be able to sell random little bits of leather. Just these smaller stacks. We are going to be producing more cloth, so I'm not as worried about that. Linen. We're not growing flask, I think. We'll keep the synth thread and devil strand. That's going to be okay. And sell all you. Now, we could buy more clothing material, but I don't think we need to do that. Oh my god, we have a lot of different stuff all over. Okay, and in terms of clothing, I think actually we can just go and sell all this. If our people aren't wearing it, it's for a reason, and we can always make some more, it's fine. Dun, 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 and yeah, I'm not looking to buy anything here. So, we're making a good amount of money, which is good, because there's going to be some stuff we're going to want to buy at some point. Excellent. And what did that do for our jobs over here? Yeah, so we're going to have to make the parkas, the pants, the button-down shirt again. We're not making any hats of any kind? Oh, because most of our people are wearing helmets. That's the idea. They're going to be helmeted all the time if we do everything right. Okay, time havoc doing some cooking, and we do need that. We have, like, no meals! We have some kebabs, and that's it. And they're being eaten as fast as we uh, eat them. Break risks. Now, kebabs, you only get two per. Four, eight. So, first of all, the stew should be top, because it's eight. We don't have the means to make tacos because we need cheese for that. But yeah, I'm going to like try to order things. Now, I think some of these, they take more material and more time and whatever. Um, but yeah, generally, I'm going to try to order them like this for like bulk jobs because it is a bit more efficient. So for stew, do we need meat? Four and four. Two different things. I don't know if you need vegetables and meat to make stew or if it's just a skill thing. People do like to make kebabs. So you're now digging for steel way over here. So, let's go back and bring the mining down to a... Actually, I'm going to turn it off for anyone. And then people with passion can keep doing it at a 3. Because at least they'll get better and faster. But yeah, otherwise, we will go back to working on more reasonable jobs now that all these things are done. Um, all this can all be sort of normal priority hauled. We might want to high priority haul those three for these bedrooms later on. Uh, you have been built, which is great. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, I'm going to copy the settings, make a new stockpile zone. I realize that um, we're going to need to expand this to, well, actually, I guess this one room is going to be fine. I may want to trim out the corners then. Is this not, am I not on delete? Oh, I think I grabbed growing zone instead. There we go. Something like that. You've got that, which is good, and you're powered up. Perfect. Okay. So we've got more room for storage. Not that we're full right now, but we have been full before. This got expanded. So far, the temperature is okay. It's still cold outside, so the cooler's not even working. We're going to have to keep track of this to see if we do need the second freezer at some point. But for now, we're all right. All this little metal debris, we can go and get that hauled out of the way at some point just to clean things up. This silver here should be urgently hauled. Um, that's stuff we sold, and then it'll be, uh, available for us to trade with for space people. 
Got some various plant bits. They're just sitting here, so they're not being refrigerated. I mean, they're indoors at least. I still don't like the idea of it just sitting there. All right, so that's mined out. We'll have a research going during the day. Again, things are pretty good. Caravan request. They want a bunch of toques. 16 days. Like, can we make... Well, we don't have the material for it. I don't even know if we'd have time to make 56 toques in 16 days. Like, do we just need to start stockpiling this stuff ahead of time? Just in case? <laughs> just keep a few dozen of everything around? Yeah, that would be insane. We're not going to do that. How do we get some ironwood? We didn't chop it. I don't know. And we've got some more of this debris here that we can haul out of the way and keep things cleaned up. I kind of feel like I would love to just keep this area cleaned, but it's not worthwhile to have someone actually on cleaning duty over there. Oh, speaking of which, right before we cut this, is my indoor cleaning area? Yeah, it covers all this. Good. Okay, that's what I want to check. We'll do some wall smoothing soon and all that. Our people are fairly happy. I'm happy. Thanks for watching. See you next time.